Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at another dragon figure. This figure's name is Tab and he was released in 2004. And guys, this is possibly one of the coolest dragon figures that I've ever picked up. And I think you'll see why when I show you the figure in a minute here. But before I do that, let's show you the box as always, because this is a pretty cool box. So up top, we have World War II. Let me see if I can say this right. Uh, Bastogne, 1944. I hope I said that right. Uh, but this guy's a staff sergeant, 101st Airborne. Uh, 60th anniversary for Battle of the Bulge. And there's a picture of the figure. There's the inside of the box. Got side of the box. Road to Victory on top, and on the back we have some of his equipment listings there. Alright, let's show you the figure, guys. As I said, this is uh, an amazing figure. Um, I was so excited to get this one. Uh, he's super rare, very hard to find, and generally very expensive. I paid about $70 for this one. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty pricey, uh, but this guy's just really, really cool. Love the way he looks. Alright guys, so let's show you his gun here for starters. As you can see, he's got a standard Tommy gun there and he holds that extremely well in his hands looks very very nice All right, let's get a closer shot at this there it is okay he's got some nice details on here got a nice strap uh, clip comes out you can pull this back. Nice function there. And uh, that's pretty much it, but overall, a uh, really nice looking gun. I love Tommy rifles. So, really, really cool. Okay, now let's show you his face and his helmet. I absolutely love his helmet. Uh, it's got some unique uh, details on here, some clover insignias. In the back there's another symbol back there. Uh, but that looks really nice on the figure. Let me uh, take this off. Get a better look at that. Yeah, I really like the clover insignias on the sides. That's uh, really, really nice. Alright, here's the figure's head sculpt. Uh, this is a nice head sculpt here. Um, I believe this one's actually uh, based off of an actor. I forget his name at the moment, but uh, yeah, really cool head sculpt. All right, so this guy comes with some cool equipment. You can see everything on his belt and harness. Let me take this uh, field bag off first. Okay, and there's nothing inside of there. But cool accessory. Okay, overall I really like the way his belt and harness all hooks up here. Looks very nice. So over here we have a little pouch here, maybe for letters. Over here we got his canteen uh, with the canteen inside. And that's actually uh, like metal material, so it makes it very heavy. Very good quality. On the back we have a whole bunch of ammo pouches. Uh, only two of these have extra clips in them though. You can see I've got them inside of there. Okay, and on the side we have his pistol. Let me take that off. 
Okay, there it is. Very good quality. Pool magazine. Yeah, it's got the nice pullback function. Let me put this in his hands. All right, that also looks very, very nice. Okay, and uh, last thing on his belt is some more uh, extra clips for his pistol, just one actually, but that's very cool. All right, let me go ahead and take off his belt actually so we can get a better look at his overcoat. Give me a minute while I do this. Okay, I'm going to carefully take all this stuff off. Okay, there's a better look at all of the, his equipment on the belt. Very cool. Alright, so this overcoat that the figure's got on is very, very nice. Uh, really good quality and looks fantastic on the figure. I uh, love the front, love the buttons there. And uh, on the side you can see some stickers. Uh, really cool, cool stickers here. Got the airborne symbol up top and then staff sergeant symbol below. Hope I put that on right. And then on the other side got another staff sergeant symbol there. Uh, but that looks really really good. Okay, up top, the collar is kind of like a soft uh, cloth material. That's really cool. All right, and I guess I'll take this off for you. All right, so underneath, you see he has a nice scarf. Very cool. And also he has a standard uh, US outfit there. Nice shirt, nice trousers. And let's take a look at his uh, sh boots here. Those are really unique, very cool. These are called Arctic Overshoes. And uh, detail on that is very nice. I like the bottom especially. Uh, very cool looking. All right, and the last thing are just I guess his this figure does come with gloved hands, and those are very nice as well. All right, guys. So that is the figure tab. Uh, this is an awesome figure. And I totally recommend getting this guy if you can find him. I've been wanting this one for a long time. Like I said, he's very rare and generally very expensive. But uh, I just bit the bullet and uh, decided to get him because I really wanted this figure. Uh, he's really, really cool and probably one of my favorites at this point. Uh, but hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, I will see you next time.